What is up? Beach Ready Champions. So excited to be coming to you live and doing an action hour. Um, I know that I'm five minutes late, had some internet issues, and I'm coming to you with wet hair because this job is flexible with your life. And my life just happened to be um, sleep in and do a workout a little later today. So because I can work from home, I'm showing you that this is real life. And as you jump on, just let me know um, where you're from. Let's give it a couple seconds. What's up, Kev? Give it a couple seconds. Uh, let me know where you're from and um, how long you've been a coach for, actually. I'd be really, really curious to see. And then we'll get going in about three minutes here. I'm going to use my trusty little time cube for us today so we can stay on task. So as you join, let me know where you're from and how long you've been a coach for. I'm super excited to crush some work with you guys. W-E-R-K. Get some work done. And hopefully somebody joins me to keep me accountable to this action hour. All right. Just going to bring up my pages that I need. All right, so because I want to be mindful of time, um, I'm just going to dive in, and what I'll do is I will put, oh, can I, is there a chat option for me? Uh-oh, that's going to be problematic. Okay, well, I don't really have a chat option, it appears, because I'm doing this on my computer, so I might need some help as you guys jump on. Um, if people are asking questions, I might need you to type it into the chat for me. Okay, can you guys just give me, Kevin, can you give me the thumbs up that you can hear me all right and everything's all good before I dive in? Awesome, thumbs up. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Let's get going then. So this is how I'm going to structure this one. And I know it's called an action hour, but I'm actually going to attempt to do this in a little under an hour. And if you have your beach body activity tracker or your um, success club tracker, whatever you want to call it, success club system tracker, what I did is I just actually bound um, my success club system tracker and a whole bunch of contact trackers um, into a book. So then I just use this book and just take it with me. Okay, so this is straight up from the back office. I just printed them uh, and then printed the activity tracker as well. And so today what we're going to do and focus on for our action hour. Oh, what's up, Jenny? Nice to see you. So what we're going to focus on for our action hour, and we're going to do three sets of 15 minutes because I want to keep this super action oriented and um, so we can get to work and get some results. Um, it's super easy to set a timer and then you go to post something and you take half an hour to put up a post, right? And that's not efficient. Um, it's not it's not a good practice for you when you're trying to do the needle moving activities and your needle moving activities are connecting, inviting and following up. You know, at the end of the day, as long as you're doing connecting, inviting, following up and putting out some valuable um, social media stories and a, and one good post a day and checking into your group, like that's it. You don't have to do everything extra. So I'm going to focus for our time together here on the connect, invite, follow up piece. And so what we're going to do is for the first 15 minutes, I'm going to set a little timer for us. By the way, I got this cube from Amazon for like six bucks. It helps me because time is hard when you work from home. Um, I'm going to set the first timer for 15 minutes. And what we're going to do is you're going to go to your Facebook or your Instagram. By the way, it's 1111 for anybody who appreciates that. You're going to go to your Facebook or Instagram. And you're going to go to your followers or your friends. And I like to type in a letter. So I guess I can just show you guys this. So you go to your followers. Okay, they come up. In the little search bar, you can type in, let's say I type in C today. So everybody with a C is going to pop up. And what we're going to do is set a timer um, for 15 minutes. And you're just going to go through and you're going to do what 
um, I learned from Angie Belmer a couple of years ago called, it's called the 3-2-1 method. And she does 5-3-1, I believe. But what I've been teaching my team and what I've been doing consistently for the last year that's helped me to um, explain and duplicate how to connect with people because it's not second nature for a lot of people, right? Um, we do the 3 one method on our team. And what the 3 one method is, is you go to somebody's account. So say I found this girl, Carrie, and I go to her account. She's following me, but I'm not following her. And I'll look at her last nine photos. And of those last nine photos, I will like three, leave a genuine comment on two, and then I will send her one direct message and or I'll follow her. Okay, so that's the three, two, one method. And for the next 15 minutes, we're gonna do that three, two, one method with as many people as possible. You don't have to write their names down. If you think they'd be a potential coach or you do wanna remember their name to um, follow up with them or invite them later on, sure, write their name down. But that's what we're gonna do. If anybody jumps on late and asks what we're doing, we're doing the three, two, one method um, with as many people as we can, starting right now. All right, go. And you can do this on Facebook or Instagram for the record. So this isn't about posting, this isn't putting stories up. Focus time, you got 15 minutes, connect with as many humans as possible doing the three, two, one method. All right, go. Okay, just to give you guys a little example of one, I'm gonna be quiet for most of this video, by the way. A little wet hair, you were doing some things. Um, I'm gonna be quiet for most of this video, but just to give you an example of like a couple things that I'm saying. Oh, what's up, Brett? Um, so that this one account that I went to, her name is Carrie, and um, she seems awesome. She's following me, I'm not following her. And so I liked three of her recent nine pictures. I commented something genuine on two of them. Um, and then I'm sending her a message and I just said, Hey Carrie, just wanted to say hi and that I love your vibe and your account. Super motivating and fun. Are you coaching online as well as rocking to another? Super simple, just asking her a question, being interested. Next person.
Okay, another little tip I have for you guys. When you find somebody's account who maybe you already follow and they follow you or they're into fitness or wellness or whatever, a really easy way to connect with new people and find like-minded people is to just go to a couple of their posts and see who's commenting. And then you can go to those people's profiles and see. And if those people's profiles look like a human that you would like to connect with, then you can do the 3 2, one method with that new human that you found in the comments. Does that make sense? There's seven minutes left of this.
okay, you can find yourself in a real like Narnia hole of social media here, but it's so important when you're working on social media to be social on social media. And part of the Instagram algorithm is that you engage. And so this is us engaging, commenting, liking, sending DMs, um, commenting on people's stories. So we've got two minutes left. So do as many as you can in the next two minutes. All right, that's 15 minutes of connecting. So hopefully you made some good connections on there. Like I said before, it's literally just you being social for 15, 20 minutes. So our next 15 minute segment, we're going to go into inviting. And the easiest people to invite your, um, as Kate Schultz would say, your lukewarm invites are going to be the people who are watching your stories. And so I send a super simple copy paste message to let's say 20 people who are watching my stories. I got to figure this out because it's wet. Um, so I send this super easy copy paste message to about 20 people who are watching my stories and it just goes something like this. Hey, first name, thank you so much. Or what, how do I say it? I see you watching my stories. Thank you so much for um, supporting my content. I know some people like to watch for fun and other people are curious about what I do but are just nervous to reach out. Have you been thinking about doing a program with me? I'd love to send you more info if so. And I just send some variation of that um, because here's the thing. It is super gentle and I don't want people to be like, oh God, she sees me creeping watch her stories and then getting um, nervous, you know, and, and getting defensive or weird or ghosting or not responding. And I've just found that sending a message that's like this, that says something along the lines of, hey, first name, first of all, I see you watching my stories. Thank you. You know, leading with gratitude. I know some people just watch for fun. I totally am aware of that. But I also know some people are just nervous. It helps them feel less alone. It helps them feel like, oh, other people are nervous to reach out. And you're initiating the conversation in that way. So I found that that's a really easy way to start up my invites. Um, leading with gratitude is everything. And just leading with something um, that's, you know, non-aggressive I suppose and it's totally a personal choice that this is just something that works for me really well so I'll send that message right now I keep um, some different variations of um, scripts in my Google Keep notes on my phone Google Docs whatever if whatever um, document app you use and I just copy it and paste it to 20 people who watch my stories um, I know some people do 60 invites I know some people do five my sweet number is 20 because it's just, it just is for right now. So we're going to set a timer and we're going to send a message similar to that to the people who've been watching your stories. And if you don't have people watching your stories, if you're a brand new coach or that kind of thing, 
If you posted something recently, you can also go to your posts from the last few days, from the last week or two. You can go to the people who liked your post or commented on your post. Um, we're just, the point of this next 15 minute segment right now is going to be to invite as many people as you um, can. And you don't have to write down the people who you're inviting. I personally write down their name. Usually it's, I write down their Instagram handle. I write down the date that I contacted them. Um, so today, and then I write down a couple notes by their name. So if they're like a gymnast or a nurse or a potential coach, mom of three, plays softball. And I just make some little notes by their name. And then if they message me back and respond back to my initial um, reach out and invite here, then I will make further notes or highlight their name to let myself know, okay, engage with this person. And they might be joining a group right now, or they might be going onto my follow-up list, depending on the conversation and our connection. Okay, some people I chat with for like, six months to a year before they join me. It's a time game for everybody. So that's why the amount of people that you talk to is so vital. So if you're talking to like one person a day and expecting to hit success club, it's not gonna happen. Okay, unless you're a magical unicorn, in which case I haven't seen a magical unicorn do that in five, four years. So next 15 minutes, we are inviting peeps, as many as humanly possible. Feel free to use a copy paste uh, message just like that tailor it to your language that um, feels comfortable for you. And I'm going to go to my story watchers. I guess I can just show you guys how I'm doing this. Um, okay. So I copied the message. I go to my stories from yesterday. Okay. And then I'm just going to, oops, I'm just going to click forward a couple because the people who are watching a few in a row those are the people more likely to respond back to me and I'm gonna go I'll scroll past the first like whatever because they're usually my coaches and that kind of thing and then I'll just start and I'll go to their account send message copy paste change it to their first name scroll back next person go to their profile send a message copy paste add their little first name send it go back and I'm gonna do that for 20 people right now in 15 minutes are you with me Deep breath. Let's do it. I need some juice. Sometimes I save my energize so I can get a little hype while I'm sending messages. All right. Let's invite people to change their lives.
also a word to the wise, make sure you double check that you spell their name right.
five minutes left. Take a deep breath, crash it out.
that's 15. It goes quick, right? So I just got done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 genuine invites. So I will actually go back and do 10 more because my number for myself is 20. But if you just got done five, good for you. You just did five. So we're going to spend the last 15 minutes that we have together doing follow-ups. And your follow-ups, um, if you don't keep a proper follow-up list, first of all, uh, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> You're going to need a follow-up list, like ASAP, because the fortune is in the follow-up. And most of the people who join me, most of the people who will join you, are going to be people who you connect with, invite at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times. They might ghost you a little bit. And then eventually when you follow up with them, it's going to be the right time for them and they're going to join you. You know, sometimes the timing just isn't right for somebody. They just don't feel it is. Sometimes finances, whatever life stuff happens and they're not ready. So you continuing to show up and follow up with them and let them know like, hey, I don't want to bug you, but I also haven't forgotten about you and I'm not giving up on you. Are you still interested in working together? I would love to involve you in my next group. Just wanted to keep you, keep you in the loop. You know, like just sending just be a good human when you're doing these. So just sending um, nice follow-up messages that let somebody know, hey, I'm still thinking of you. Totally let me know if you don't want me to ask you anymore, but I'm not giving up on you. Do you still want X, Y, Z? You know, and because usually when I have a conversation with somebody, I ask them their, ask them their goals right out the gate. Um, I can refer back and I can say, hey, are you still wanting to um, work on bettering your digestion and losing 10 pounds? You know, are you still working on that? I would love to help you if so. Um, are you still working on lowering your anxiety and finding more time in your day? So whatever it is that you've previously talked about, you can bring that up then. And I always tell my team to, when somebody gives me an objection um, or excuse, I use their objection or excuse as the very reason why they should join me in the first place. If somebody says, Marie, I would love to join you, but I'm too busy. I say, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm so glad you're busy. This is exactly for you. Here's why. If somebody says, Marie, I don't have enough money. I say, that's great. This is exactly for you. Here's why. And I break it down and then I give them a perspective shift and then they can go, Oh, maybe it could work for me, you know, and sometimes they join and sometimes they don't. So our last 15 minutes together, we are going to send follow-up messages. Um, let me just pull one for myself that you could, uh, let's, I'll give you an example of one. I also have a really easy thank you message that I can share with you guys that um, if you ever have a day where you're feeling like intimidated to invite people, I know this happens. Like put your hand up in the comments if you feel this way sometimes. Um, I know sometimes it can be intimidating to um, invite people if we let it, like we could put it into our minds that it's scary or we start doubting ourselves. A really easy way to get yourself into your invites is just send five thank you messages to five people who liked your post the previous day. And I just say something like this in the message. I just say, hey, girlfriend, I try to make it a practice to thank some people every day for supporting my content. And today your name came up. So thank you for liking my stuff. I know it just takes two seconds to click a button, but I appreciate it. And I wanted to let you know if you ever wanted to join me for a program or even just wanted some suggestions on recipes, podcasts, books, or workouts, I'm here for you. That message is so well received because I'm thanking people. Again, gratitude goes a long way. Um, so I, I uh, thank them and I just say, I'm here for you if you're interested. If you need any recommendations, let me know. And a lot of people will respond back and they'll say, hey, that's a really nice practice. Like, no worries. And then I might engage them a little more and I might say, do you mind just sharing with me which of my posts speak most to you? Do you mind sharing with me um, which of my stories speak most to you or what, what content I post is the most captivating to you or most meaningful? That gives you a lot of really good insight for the people who watch your stories every day or like your stuff, why they're watching. So you can do more of that to attract more ideal clients. So last 15 minutes, I'm going to shut up now. Let's do some follow-ups and an example message to send somebody is this. Hey, first name. I always use first name. I just think it's important. I do not want to bug you, but I also want you to know I haven't given up on you. Are you still thinking about joining me for a program? I'd love to include you. If so, just let me know where you're at when you see this. Super not intimidating, really gentle. Just let me know where you're at when you see this. Some people will respond. Some people will not. Here's 15 minutes. Let's go. Oh, and P.S. I'll go to the comments after we do those 15 minutes and then we'll uh, finish our finish our little chat here. Oh, one other follow-up I'll send before I be quiet here is I just say something like, um, 
hey, first name, I just wanted to check in with you. I know our last conversation kind of died off, or I know that we kind of lost touch there. I'm just doing registration for my new bootcamp that just started this week. Your name came to mind. I wanted to reach back out and see if it was something that still interested you. Do you want some more info? You know, really easy, just non-aggressive, non-intimidating. Hey, I am thinking of you because I use the first name. They don't just think it's a copy-paste message. Um, you know, and I genuinely want them to join. So. All right. And like I said, if you don't have a follow-up list, make yourself a follow-up list. Really important.
We have six minutes left. I'm just gonna pop into the chat just in case. So Sabrina said, I'm struggling with what to message them without sounding weird or spammy, annoying. Hopefully the little scripts that I gave you today helped. Um, I don't recommend the app Captivate, actually. I don't recommend any bots at all, any apps or bots to unfollow, follow. Instagram cracks down really intensely and it, you can really sabotage your um, reach if you use secondary bots, even though it makes it, it does make it easier, but just go in and manually unfollow um your own and don't do more than i think it's 50 actions uh unfollow or follow actions in an hour otherwise you can get flagged as using a bot do you have an auto message that you send people that start following you no nope, i don't i've been thinking about starting one um but i try to just engage with my followers and engage with my story watchers those are the two places where i mostly um engage with people and then my followers uh friends who comment on their posts that's who i usually uh, connect with. One of my biggest struggles is resending messages to those who have ghosted me. Why? So most people, like nine and a half out of 10 people, <laughs> legitimately just forget. They read your message, they open it, and then they're like, oh, I'll get back to her later. And then life happens because we live in such a fast paced, go, go, go world that they just forgot. So you actually reaching out to them, not only tells them that you're organized enough to keep their name on your radar, but also it makes them feel seen, heard and loved, which is like an essential human need. And you get to help them feel thought of and just say, hey, I'm hosting this party. Do you want to come? You know, it's not nothing to take personally at all. Um, and don't, don't ever think that people are ghosting you on purpose. Like some people are avoiding your messages. Sure. But they're not avoiding your messages because it's you. They're avoiding your messages because they are not ready or they're being confronted with, oh, I want to change, but I'm nervous to change. I don't think I have the time. I don't think I have the money and they're thinking of you. I promise. So just keep showing up. Oh, what's up, Stacy? Nice. And Britt. Awesome. Okay. Glad this was helpful. So we've got three minutes left. Crash out your last uh, follow-up messages. If you have any last questions for me, put them in the comments and I will answer them. But essentially, you guys, that's how I do my power hour. I do, um, I do my connecting on Instagram. I set a timer for that. I do my invitations to my story watchers. Um, I don't set a timer for that because I just crush 20. I just make sure that I get my 20 done. And then I usually um, keep my follow-up list and I send messages and lots of times I'll actually send voice notes to people um, about uh, a follow-up. So if they haven't responded to my last message or I sent them the Lift 4 info video or Ultimate Portion Fix info video, for example, um, and they haven't gotten back to me, I'll send them a voice note of my voice so they can hear and I'll say like, Hey, Patricia, I hope you're having an awesome week. I just wanted to follow up with you. I'm super excited about our group that kicks off on Monday. I know sometimes messages get lost or missed. Um, I didn't want you to feel like I forgot about you. Are you still interested in working together? This is going to be a really fun time. So just let me know if you're still interested and we can chat more. And that's it. Like, I'll just send something really, really simple. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You don't need fancy scripts. You just need to talk to more people and you just need to be a human. Like, that's it. That's my best advice. So...
last 15 minutes. Okay, there you have it, you guys. Action hour with me. Super simple. 15 minutes of connecting on social, being a social person. 15 minutes of inviting. 15 minutes of following up. Easy peasy. Um, the other things that you could do are finish your messages, um, you know, like answer the rest of the messages in your inbox, check into your challenge group, and put up a post on social media slash share your day and your stories. So super simple. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic uh, rest of your week. And I hope this was helpful. Take care.